Welcome back. I'm standing here at the Electrify America charging station in Bridgewater, New Jersey, topping off a 2020 BMW i3S with range extender. Now, you might remember only a couple weeks ago, I was able to do this 70 mile an hour range test with a 2019 uh, BMW i3S, but it didn't have the range extender. That was the fully electric BMW. With the range extender, the range is gonna be less because the range extender turns on when the battery drops down to 6.5%. So we're obviously gonna get less range uh, because the fact that we don't have 6.5% of the battery, but we're also gonna get less range because the car weighs more with the range extender. And to add to that, the owner of this vehicle is gonna be driving with me, adding about 170 pounds. I usually do these range tests by myself, but the owner just took possession of this. He's a friend of mine and he agreed to let me do the range test with him, but he, he's coming along for the ride. So we gotta kind of figure out, uh, maybe add a couple of miles onto the end for the 170 pound penalty that we're gonna be lugging around, that being his body. Uh, so today's range test is gonna be conducted the same way we do our, all our range tests. The tires have all been set to the factory specs. Uh, we're gonna ride in normal driving mode. We're gonna set the uh, air conditioning. It's, it's about 88 degrees, it's hot, so we need air conditioning. We're gonna set it at the lowest fan speed and at 70 degrees, hopefully that'll keep us cool enough. If not, we'll note that if we need to increase that during the ride. We'll check in at about 50% of the way to see where we're going. Now the 2020 BMW i3S with range extender is EPA range rated at 126 miles all along electric 200 miles once you add in the range with the range extender but we're not going to be driving with the range extender we just want to know what the all-electric driving range at a constant 70 miles an hour is on this vehicle um, we're figuring it's going to come in somewhere around 115 ish but we'll know when we find out we'll check back at about 50 percent and see where we're at see you then all right here with my friend Chris. This is his 2020 BMW i3S with range extender. Uh, Chris is doing the driving today, so I get to just sit back and relax and kind of record things. Um, We're about halfway in now, uh, and halfway doesn't mean the battery's at 50%. It means the battery's at 53% because the range extender turns on once the battery gets down to 6.5%. So we don't get 50% of the battery for 50% of our journey we get a little bit less uh, in any event we just passed 67 miles driven and we are at 53 and a half percent battery so we're just about halfway we've done 67 miles better than what I expected um, I don't expect us to do as well in the second half if you remember when I did the i3 Bev test a uh, few weeks back the same thing happened we went a lot further on the first half of the battery than we did on the second half of the battery so I mean the range estimator is telling us we can go 75 more miles and that would have us up to you know 140 miles we're not going to get 140 miles the EPA range rating on the i3s with range extender is 126 miles driving at a constant 70 miles an hour like we are I think we're gonna finish up at around 115 to 120, meaning you know we only have somewhere around 50 miles more to go. But we'll see. As I've said in my past videos, I've been wrong before and I will be wrong again. Uh, little stats about driving today, we're averaging 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. That's better than what we did with the BEV. The BEV, the entire trip, I averaged 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. But this journey isn't over yet. I think it's gonna drop down to 3.4 before we're done. Uh, in any event, uh, that's part, par probably partly why we're showing a little bit better range. Uh, temperature right now has crept up to 93 degrees. Uh, as with the BMW uh, i3 BEV that I drove, the, the, the HVAC system is set on the lowest speed and at 70 degrees. That keeps the cabin nice and cool. The air conditioning system works pretty well in the BMW i3. I know that because I've owned two of them. This guy sitting next to me is even a bigger i3 fan than I am. This is his third 
third i3. Uh, Chris had a, a, an i3 with range extender 2014, then he had a 2017 with range extender, now he's got the 2020. So he's had all three battery iterations that BMW has offered. He's got me beat by one. I only had the 2014 and then a 2018 which had the, the improved battery. But now Chris has the 42.2 kilowatt hour battery that's in this uh, BMW. BMW introduced that in the 2019 models uh, and uh, you know that gives it probably another 20 to 30 more miles of range. There's probably no one better to talk about BMW i3 range than this guy sitting next to me. Um, so okay, we're at, uh, now we're at uh, 70 miles, we're at 51% and uh, we're gonna check in when we're done. Uh, oh, what else did I forget? Let me think. So wind, wind, I checked my wind app. Wind is great today. We're only at about three mile an hour wind coming in from the west. Mentioned earlier, the tires are set. Talked about the temperature. I think that has it all covered. We're driving up and down the New Jersey Turnpike. We're about to make a turnaround. Uh, and I just wanna have Chris give us a little talk about what his life with the i3s have been. As I said, he's a bigger fan than I am. He's owned three of them. And one of the things that's interesting, Chris likes to talk about how BMW has just kept making the vehicles better. Each iteration that he's had, the car just has gotten better. Not just the range, but the car's gotten better. So we're gonna to talk to Chris a little bit about that now. Um, so, you know, that's one of the things you and I have talked about and we agree on. Uh, and now that you have this, you've had this 2020 for about, uh, Two, two weeks now. Um, what are the improvements over the last i3 that you had? Well, this is the best i3 they've ever made so far. I mean, this is, it just feels like, it feels like a BMW more than it ever has. It's extremely solid. I mean, the S has the tuned suspension and you really, it's, it's, it's a completely different car. Um, especially on the highway, I cannot get over this highway ride. It is smooth, it is stable. There is, even with sideway, you're not being thrown all over the place like the older i3s were doing or even the standard i3, they made huge improvements to this. And it's got power all the way up to the top speed. The, ridge, the other i3s we had kind of like, you know, puttered out at about 60, 70 miles oh, an hour. 60, 45, yeah. 50 miles an hour. The, this the, one the just i3s just pulls up to 90. That's what I noticed with mine. Even an Eco Pro Plus, mm -hmm. it just keeps pulling. This, mm -hmm. this car, they've, they've recalibrated the way the power is delivered to this car and it's just, you notice it right away. This, yeah. is, this is a driver's car. It's the driver's, you want a driver's car that's an i3 this is the one to get yeah i i agree i love my 2018 i wish i had leased it for a longer period but that went back a few months ago and now uh my uh model three is uh sitting in the garage alone i i much preferred having two evs in the household but um you know i guess i'll have to suffer just with the model three i know i'm gonna get a lot of negative comments on this post about that but uh in any event um we're gonna check back when we're done um and uh talk about the results see you then that's good and over here we have gone 124 miles you see in the upper left hand corner of the speedometer it says that we're at eight percent when that ticks now down to 7.5 percent when that ticks down to 6.5 percent what's going to happen is the range extender is going to turn on now that bar on the bottom left of the the instrument gauge right now is kind of grayed out that's the fuel for the gasoline you'll see that that will light get lighter and that means the range extender is on now Chris also told me that he hasn't used the range extender yet so hopefully it works <laughs> suspense is killing me yeah the cars only a couple weeks old and he's never needed to use the range extender so all right seven percent now watch when that ticks down to 6.5 right now that's you're gonna see that light bar um, on the bottom left light up and that means that the range extenders on yep. okay any second now got a full tank <laughs> any second now there we go well it didn't turn on well, well any any second it's going to turn on usually right at 6.5 but sometimes it lets you go down to six little under 6.5 sorry about it being shaky here there you go. It's on. It turned on and we went 125.9 and uh, rounded up to 126. Okay, so the, the funny thing is the BMW i3 with range extender is EPA range rated at 126 miles per charge. So we exactly hit the EPA range rating driving at 
70 miles an hour. Now you'll notice it says 72 miles an hour. That's because BMW speedometers run a little fast and we always check them to GPS and we needed to have this at 72 miles an hour to be 70 miles an hour. You'll also might have noticed in the beginning of this video right now that we were going a little less than 72 miles an hour. That's because there's been some construction on the turnpike and there's been sections where we actually weren't able to drive 72 miles an hour. Wasn't much. It's probably only four or five miles of our trip. And I think that's why we averaged 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour because in the BMW i3 BEV that I tested a couple weeks ago, the same one, it was a 42.2 a a kilowatt hour battery, but it was the all electric version. That On that range test, I averaged 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. So we did a little bit better in this one. I thought we'd do worse because it's heavier. We're lugging around the wrecks. We also have two passengers, as I mentioned earlier. Usually we only have one. So I actually thought the efficiency was gonna be a little worse, but it was better. And it probably was because there was a small stretch where we couldn't maintain 70 miles an hour. It wasn't much, it was only a couple miles. So, you know, take that as you may. Um, we're gonna do a wrap up at the charging station, uh, which is still a little ways off. See you then. Okay. All done. As we said, we finished up with 126 miles, which is exactly the EPA range rating for the 2020 BMW i3s with range extender. It's a little surprising that the EPA range rating is only 126 miles because the BEV version of the same car, the 2020 BMW i3s BEV, is range rated at 153 miles per charge. And with the Rex, you only lose access to the last 6.5% of the battery. So if you do the math, 153 miles, 126 miles, that's way more than 6.5% of the battery. So I'm not really sure how that works out. Uh, in any event, our testing shows that it really doesn't work out because we were able to achieve 126 miles with this car driving at a constant 70 miles an hour, and we were able to drive 141 miles with the, the 42 kilowatt hour i3s BEV. That's a little bit closer to the 6.5%. So our testing seems a little bit more accurate than the actual EPA range rating as far as the difference between the fully electric and range extended version of the BMW i3s. Uh, we finished up with 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour efficiency. On the BEV that we tested, we did 3.4 miles uh, per kilowatt hour, which is a little surprising. I thought that would be a little bit more efficient. Uh, but there were some factors, as, as I say, when we do these range tests, we don't have a perfectly controlled environment. Uh, the wind was a little bit higher when I did the BEV test than it was today. We had almost no wind today, even though we had a little extra weight in the car today. And also, we, there was some construction going on today. So for four or five miles, we were not able to maintain 70 miles an hour. Matter of fact, we were probably around 65, 67. So that little stretch there, I think, pushed the efficiency up a little more maybe added a mile or two to our range. So I think it's comfortable to say that the this version of the i3s with range extender somewhere between 120 126 miles should be what you could expect in similar conditions driving at a constant 70 miles an hour. Now I haven't mentioned the range extender as far as how much further that can take you. It, the EPA range rating says that it will give you another 74 miles. This car is officially rated at 200 miles of range. 126 on battery, 74 on the range extender. Our experience driving on it vets that out. We're av we average somewhere around 32 miles per gallon when we were finishing up the drive today. We actually finished up that range test far from this charging station. Uh, we had the benefit of not having to time our finish exactly like I have to with the BEV cars. So we were just kind of driving and when it ran out, it ran out and then we circled around and head back. So that's the total for the 2020 BMW i3 S with range extender. Um, pretty good for this car. I've been a fan of these, ca these cars for the years. I think that they're really good little electric cars. The price is a little high and that's probably what's held back more BMW i3 sales, but it's a really cool little electric car. And with the range extender, you can virtually do anything with it that you could do with any gas car. Check back with you next time.